so remember two weeks ago when I took the 701 I think I started the video here and then I got lost in the woods we're not gonna do that again well we're not gonna do that route again will we get lost in the woods it's possible so uh, I'm leading a bunch of GS riders on this road next Saturday and uh, there's a section that I think exists but I'm not sure and so we're taking our GSA with street tires on it because really it's not really fair to run that route um, it's a little sloppy here still it's not really fair to run that route there's a car coming with uh with something other than a other than an adventure bike because it's just not it's not fair because i can't show up on like a, a, a two-stroke and be like all right everyone on gs just follow me so i'm gonna do it on the gs all right so this is a new part of the route and i suppose there's a left-hand turn up here that goes back to like route 103 in rumney i i don't I think it doesn't exist. The guy on the other side of the road where we hit a dead end was like, oh yeah, you just went a little further and you would have found it. I don't, I don't believe him. <laughs> but it's on base camp, it's on Google Maps. There's the left up here. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna go up here and see what we, uh, what we see. There's all kinds of little lefts though that's supposedly dead end. So Ashley Lane dead ends. So this actually worked out for the best. So we have two routes to choose from here. We got this one and plus a class six over there. I think I actually found a way to keep some dirt on the thing. This appears to be blocked off, which is fine. But let's, let's see what works. Let's just try them both. You know, I think, so this road, by the way, if you look at it on Google Satellite Images, um, it goes through power lines. So I think this is because this is an old road that's now used for the uh, electric power company. So I'll get a photo of the bike and then I'll be on my way. There's a house over there too. So now we're on a class six road. You guys know me. I wasn't going down stupid things. And if, if we can do this downhill, no, it'll be uphill the other direction. It'll be an uphill. Oh well. But if this isn't getting any worse than this, then uh, we can bring people down it. It's almost to the end. It's starting to get worse though. Oh, mud. Perfect. It's gonna be fun to go up it. Oh, we got a little water crossing here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Remember, Adam, you're alone. <laughs> All right. So, <sighs> yeah, I can't take people on this. <sighs> well, no, we could. So we got to go uphill. Got some ruts here. This is the shit that I shouldn't do by myself though. We're very, I say this a lot in my videos, we're very close to the end of the road. Wasn't so bad. Now, as long as it doesn't get worse, it's fine. It's not gonna get worse. Oh, okay, that was pretty nasty. That was straight slop.
All right, we're not taking people down here. It's way too slippery for people. Like way too slippery. No one else would have. Not next weekend. Look at this shit. This is an example of why you don't drive on these roads until they open for the season. But people live back here, they can't do anything about it. They've got to get their house. So the ruts are already here for the whole year. Man, so if that if that if that power line thing wasn't closed down, we probably would have gone through. So what I'll do on the way back home is I will uh, try from the other direction, the power line ride. If that sign, because I can see where my nav is, where how far I went, if that sign is within sight and we're going the opposite direction, which we will be, then I've solved our problem. If that sign is not in sight and there's a, there's a, let's say it's 400 yards or something, if it's 400 yards and there's no sign on the other side saying don't go this way, then, uh, well, we have to, oops, then we'll have to just find a different route. Slips McGee. Okay. Now we gotta see where we are. So there's Crodden Road. That's back on our route right there. Hallsbrook is right there. Well, we found another Class 6 road just around the corner. Again, you know, shouldn't go down this road. But it looks like it connects out to Hallsbrook. So if we can shave some of the boring parts that are straight off of Hallsbrook and it's not too nasty, then that'll be fun. Here's the power lines I was talking about. So these are the power lines. And the other road we were trying to cross, I should look at the road, is over here on the left. And it's not fenced in. What does it say? Uh, keep left of markers. Okay, it is a snowmobile thing. And I'm a member of the club, so. This goes up to the road I was gonna take. Perfect, let's try it. So in talking about when to turn back, um, this guy here, it's hard to see from the angle, but basically you've got a nice dip off with no traction at all, with slimy mud that just dried a couple of weeks ago. And you can kind of see the grade. It's just down there. Uh, I came from way over there, the very bottom of that valley, so good attempt. I had a couple of slip outs and I'm looking ahead and I just don't see a clear path without knobbies to get to the top of this hill. And I'm still only about a third of the way to where I wanted to see if it, if it dead ended. So we're still going to do our original plan. We're going to turn this beast around. Um, no video of that, obviously. Turn this beast around and then we're going to go back down to where we came from to that left instead of coming up the power lines. Can you hear them though? It's crazy to hear them. All right, guys, let's, uh, let's get back to it. I did a three-point turn <sighs> on an incline. No, I did not. I wasn't on the bike. I was walking it. Okay, so it was another dead end. <laughs> I'm done with classics roads for the day. This stuff, by the way, it's, it's all mud. Uh, not deep mud, but s s slick. You know, it's just barely dried out by the sun. And so getting back up this thing, I knew it was going to suck, and it does suck. You'll see the body of the bike move around if the stabilization doesn't, doesn't fix it automatically. But I've almost, it's almost skirted off from under me, well, about 12, 15 times. And if I don't, if I don't, oh, fuck you. If I don't keep throttle on, 
it, it will go down. That was almost into the ditch. I've gotten my bike into ditches a lot. And every time I do, it's like, okay, all your clothes come off. It's, you're going to be here a while. R rolling this thing out of a hole in its side. But this is all mud. I, I, I know it's hard to believe, but like, it's very, very slick. This freaking Garmin, man. It's, it's just annoying that it's, gonna, it's now going to turn off. And then it's going to turn back on. Luckily, I know where I'm going now because there's no way to... I thought that I could go down here, hang a right onto a side road, and that would be Hallbrook's Road, Hallsbrook Road, which is the way back to the camp on Saturday. But it throws the gate up. That was our that was our way back to the road. And so this is all mud. And so I just turning around again. So I think I'm gonna nix this off. Screw you. I'm gonna nix this off of the uh, of the final ride. We already have a hero section. Ooh, gross. Let's see how it's moving under me. We already have a hero section. It's all mud. And it's downhill. There's enough lines to pick. Oh, we're gonna go up this hill. There's enough lines to pick where people can get up it. God, that's just weird, real wheel spin. There's my left right there to Hallsbrook. It's blocked off. You know, these uh, these kind of roads, I'm always like, oh, class six road downhill, no problem. But class six road uphill, things can go screwy really fast. But I've only dropped it once today. Whiskey in through that little hole. Probably should have taken the smaller bike. All right. Well, I gotta nix that portion from the uh, from the ride. What a bummer, too. We're so close. It's right over there. But I mean, great view, great pictures. But it's just locked down. What a shame, man. Seriously, what a shame. I tried. Ah. Well, there's always a... Uh, it's still going to be a good ride. I hope you guys will join next weekend. It's going to be a great ride. I went through all the shit, so you don't have to. But if anyone wants to go through the shit with me, I'll go back through those roads. I just don't want to do it alone. That's all. Alright, guys. Well... Ride safe, take care, rock on.